This is your neighborhood friendly rancher speaking, and uh, I am going to get religious on you for just a moment of your time. Because I got this really hilarious letter in the mail today, and it brightened my day. It was so funny. It was the best parody of a religion inside a religious context that I've ever seen. And it's one of those really stupid chain letters. You know, send this to five of your friends who need blessings. But uh, I wanted to sort of highlight parts of it that I thought were really funny. And the way this thing works is that what you do is you take this prayer rug, which is included, and you basically kneel on it or you put it over your knees and you say your prayer and then you send it into the church and they apparently can grant whatever request you have. Apparently God runs his own loan agency out of Oklahoma at the St. Matthew's Church. And some of the funnier parts are where they address you personally because they don't really ever address you personally. They always say, Dear someone connected with this address, which always gives that personal touch, that that touch that makes you really feel like they have your personal interest in mind. And what's really interesting to me is sort of how they describe in detail how you should use this thing. And let me just highlight a part of it. These next 24 hours are crucial to you. Timing is important to God because apparently, much like Santa Claus, he only comes one time a year. After you kneel on this church prayer rug or place it over your knees, place it in a Bible on Philippians 4.19. If you don't have a Bible, it's okay. Just slide it under your, under your side of your bed for tonight if you can. If you can't do this, it is okay. So apparently God is also the tooth fairy. Leave it there no longer than tonight only. God sees. Then, in the morning, it is a must that you get this unusual blessing, which it calls it an unusual blessing quite a bit. Doesn't that sort of uh, inspire faith in this practice? Get this unusual blessing, church prayer rug, out of this house and back to us here at the church's chapel prayer room in faith. And then it goes on to talk about how you should do this without fail. And uh, my favorite line of the entire thing, I don't know if you can really see that, but uh, it says, please do not break this flow of power between us. Uh, that sounds more like a seance to me. And really, at times, it gets kind of blasphemous. Um, it goes on to say things like, uh, turn off the television and try to be by yourself when you kneel on this Holy Ghost Bible prayer rug. It is going to be like you are kneeling before God Almighty at the altar inside a great church of blessings. So apparently, if you put your knees onto a purple picture of Jesus, you will be in the presence of God, and all of the desires of your heart, which are mentioned on the envelope, where it says, make good changes in this one's life and give them the desires of, your, of their heart, which doesn't exactly make sense considering our hearts are supposed to be inherently evil, but uh, that's just biblical semantics. But apparently, all the desires of your heart will come true if you kneel on this purple paper picture of Jesus. And uh, 
the actual instructions on the the picture are really funny because it's look into Jesus' eyes, you will see they are closed. Very observant, St. Matthew's Church. But as you continue to look, you will see his eyes opening and looking back into your eyes. Now I swear that I stared at this picture for ten minutes and Jesus never opened his eyes. And I can't decide if it's because I don't have enough faith, if it's an optical illusion and I'm just not seeing it, or if this is St. Matthew's religious version of a blonde joke. But uh, it says, Then go and be alone and kneel on this rug of faith or touch it to both knees. Then please check your needs on our letter to you. Please return this prayer rug. Do not keep it. And uh, they do have a little list of uh, prayers that you can that you can request. Apparently, uh, to even further God's loan agency, there's one that says, "Pray for God to bless me with this amount." And then they've got a nice little line that you can you know put whatever amount you want on there. It's got a better job because apparently, if you put Jesus as your top reference, you'll get the quickest callback in history. A home to call my own. So apparently, the, if a realtor asks you what kind of uh, house you're looking for, you can just say, Jesus wants me to have this house, and uh, they'll just roll out the red carpet for you. A new car, which apparently means that if you go onto a lot and say, Jesus wants me to have this Jaguar, they'll just you know roll it right out for you. And... Uh, one of my favorites is, Enclosed is my seed gift to God's work. Um, my seed gift. I don't really know if uh, they want me to put my seed gift onto this piece of paper. It wouldn't exactly be sanitary. But uh, it does mention quite a bit of things that, that you need to do. Apparently... The Lord will not bless you unless you send this to him before dawn of the next day. And uh, then they give you this little, uh, I don't know if you can read it. A sign from the Lord about your future. Important. Only break open this sealed prophecy after you have put this church prayer rug and your prayer request back in the mail to this 61-year-old ministry. If for any reason you are go not going to return this church prayer rug, then this sacred prophecy must be destroyed, unopened, and unread. Because this is a sacred spiritual prophecy, sealed word, concerning you and your future. Remember, the Bible says, let your request be made known unto God. Which, that really doesn't make sense to me. I'm like, really? So does that mean that if I don't mail in my requests to you that God won't hear them apparently that's what it means and you'll never be blessed in your future unless you tell God that you want some kind of spiritual blessing in the form of a payment so really this made my day I can't tell you how much I was just ecstatic to see this and uh, I did end up opening this letter, so one day I might end up getting struck by lightning or something. But uh, as for now, this is definitely the funniest and best satire on religion I've ever seen. If you want to uh, get a copy of this, I think you can probably get one from their website at uh, aboutstmatthewschurches.com or uh, biblicalprayer.com. So go check it out and get your own funny letter in the mail. And uh, God bless.